guys it's felicia with happily ever after living and as you can tell from the title of today's video my goal for this video is to give you guys tips and tricks as to how i am currently feeding my family while on my 100 pound weight loss journey and these tips are actually helping me to be able to fast because you guys know i just started doing intermittent fasting about three months ago as well as continuing to lose weight as i've been doing successfully for the last year and a half now in today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys a refrigerator tour, a freezer tour. I'll also share with you guys what led me to this change, the benefits of this change, and I'll give you tips on how you can do this as well if you choose to. Now, before I begin this video, I do wanna say this is a very vulnerable share for me because for some reason, whenever you talk about food or kids or any of that sort on the internet, it gets a little crazy. So before we begin, I just wanna say that I am only here giving you guys the tips that I found to be successful for my own family. I'm not telling you that this is what you have to do for your family, okay? So if you guys don't mind, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up because this is a very vulnerable share for me. My goal here is basically just to share with you guys some things that I found to be successful here in our home, and then maybe it'll spark some ideas that you can possibly, um, doing your home and everything that I share may not work for you but if you can at least get like one or two great tips from this video then that will make me extremely proud all right so first let's talk about what led me to the current way in which I feed my family so first of all having to figure out dinner every single night like no one mentioned that that would be one of the most difficult like decisions of being an adult particularly being the one that prepares the meals in your house so what led me to land into where we are now which we're going to talk about here in a bit is that i got so sick and tired of trying to figure out dinner every single night so i started meal prepping ahead of time and doing things the way that i'm going to show you guys today like i said i started doing meal prepping so the way that i first started meal prepping was with these containers at the time of this video we have a 19 year old girl who's currently off at college but she goes to college within this within the state so she's able to come home as often as she chooses and then we have a 13 year old son and an 11 year old son so two growing boys so sometimes what i found was that i would meal prep these containers and it was good but like sometimes things will happen like what happens when they eat their full container of dinner for the night and then they're still hungry like okay i've only prepped x amount of containers so like then what or what happens when they you know like their appetite kids their appetites change just like our zoo as adults so what happens when they don't eat everything in their container well for me i want the container gone out of the refrigerator because they take so much so much space so are you really going to put that one ounce of chicken breast and those six grains of rice back into the refrigerator probably not so for my family these were actually causing me more of a headache than anything and it was actually causing us more food waste so another thing that led me to changing the way that I feed my family um, the way that I do now versus how I did before was that I tried to share the responsibility of meal prepping with my husband. So I know like every family is different, but in our household for over a decade, I've been the primary cook in our house. So we got to a point to where I was just like a little, like a little burned out with always having to be the one, as I mentioned before, trying to figure out dinner. So my husband and I started splitting that responsibility a bit well you kind of got to know what you're paired up with my husband is really good at making certain foods but he doesn't really know how to um like make a full-blown meal and i know in the comment section i got my i got my go-go girls that are like well that's not your fault he needs to learn da, da, da. i got you okay i get it i get it however for us i don't mind i honestly do not mind meal prepping it's just when i don't have the time that i get a little discouraged frustrated whatever i actually enjoy being in the kitchen i know not all women do i actually enjoy being in the kitchen when i have time i don't like being in the kitchen when i feel rushed because then it feels stressful and it's something that i have to do so what would happen is like he would be responsible for dinner a certain you know amount of nights well um with my husband and i also want to say that he grew up with a mom that stayed at home so different right so for him, he would like make these incomplete meals. You guys can see back on the channel, like I would talk about like different things, but um, yeah, he would make like these, inc what I felt to be incomplete meals. However, I don't believe in handing off a task and like after, um, like with my husband, with my kids, like giving them a task and then like 
critiquing well you didn't do this right well, well no, no 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 if i hand off the task it means that i trust you to do the best of your ability and i'm not, I'm not going to complain about it so he started like making little foods here and there for dinner uh or the other thing that started happening was that i noticed that he would go and pick up food now he's doing that he's completing the assignment he's making sure that he takes care of dinner for his night but you guys know me i don't like spending additional money whenever i don't have to so i found that not only like were we not eating the best things for dinner but it was also becoming a little bit more expensive so that's another reason why i landed to where i am now which i'm going to share with you guys here in a minute and then the other thing was that i started noticing like how our kids eat whenever we're on vacation or like if we're at a hotel, if we're on a cruise or whatever. And I noticed, so I started noticing that whenever they go up to a buffet, number one, they're able to make their own plates, get their own food, critically think for themselves and like get whatever it is that they want to eat. But also I am able to get my food and like eat in peace. Oh my goodness. I don't know how many ladies can attest to the fact that sometimes you're cooking dinner and before you realize it you've probably like eaten your dinner while standing up in the kitchen like by the sink or by the stove and you haven't even had the opportunity to sit down so this what i do now has totally eliminated that and i am in love with it so let me go ahead and tell you guys how i currently feed my family listen buffet style i'm not even kidding you like every night is a freaking buffet and i love it i love it they love it let me show you so what i'm gonna do from here is take you in the refrigerator with me and i'm gonna show you some of the things and like give you some ideas as to what i currently do and then i'll come back and then i'll give you some tips as to like how you can make this successful and make it work for you as well all right guys so my first piece of advice would be to prep your proteins ahead of time whether you're a meat eating family or not usually your proteins take a longer period of time to cook so i'll show you what i'm referring to and also when you prep your proteins if you have the time and the flexibility in your budget i always recommend like prepping two if at all possible and i'll show you what i'm referring to Okay, as you can see here, I have two pounds of grass-fed beef um, here. And for these, you can use these for like, whether it be spaghetti, burritos, tacos, whatever it is you wanna use the beef for, you can use them. And then if you notice like midweek that you have a little bit more than what you need, just take one and toss it in the freezer, no big deal. And here is some bacon, whether you wanna use it for salads, for breakfast, for whatever you want. And I also use this bacon to um, season the beans so this kill i need to cook this but whenever i have the time i'll just toss that into the instant pot season it no problem all right and then also back to the protein sources here are more beans um and you can toss these in a burrito in a breakfast burrito dinner burrito um on your salads and tacos with rice whatever you want to do with those and then here's another source of beans that i'm going to um prep and then I'll freeze those as well oh and also here is some salmon that my husband will be cooking um, remember I told you guys that he's really good at like making foods so he'll cook the salmon and like when you know so he'll do that later today and we'll have that and under here is also chicken we're gonna use that chicken breast like in salads for same thing whatever you need it for like let's say you want to do a chicken alfredo or whatever you want to use it for you definitely have it there and it's ready and regarding proteins, we also have eggs. Same thing with the eggs, you can eat them boiled, like these are already cooked. So you can eat boiled eggs like as they are, or you can have them on a salad. You can make an egg salad, like whatever you need to, or desire to make, at least they're already done and you can go from there. Next, let's talk about fruits. So what I found is that in our family, we eat a ton of fruit. And before, I'm not gonna lie, I used to be a little like, not like annoyed but it would kind of bother me when they would like eat up all of my fruit and the junk food you know like when they ate both so like now but now i don't worry about it anymore because now that i'm doing intermittent fasting i'm noticing that there's a lot more money available in the food budget so now whenever i buy fruit i just buy a ton of it and i'll share that with you guys now so as you can see here in our fridge we have um raspberries i try to keep you know it, it, things get messed up so this is real life i haven't like cleaned any of this out for you guys so i try to keep stuff that's like half like see i should probably combine those but i don't care i try to keep stuff that needs to be eaten first up front and then like we have some pineapples oh sorry blueberries and then pineapples and then there's like two trays so 
there's plenty for everyone and I no longer worry about like them eating up the fruit because it's good for them too. So there's watermelon, more watermelon back there. And then I also keep a fruit thing like on the table. And then these bands are like a hot mess, but there's more fruit in here. And like, as those are eaten, then I'll replace with these. But these are more fresh, so I tuck those in there. And then once they eat those, I'll pull those out. Sometimes I'll put fruit in here. This is like my overflow bin. Spinach, cucumbers. Um, yeah, let's talk about the veggies. All right, so we're gonna go into the overflow bin and let's talk about veggies a little bit and like how I've been dealing with those. So sometimes I'll have like a ton of salads like already prepped. Like sometimes I'll make salads and put them in like a Ziploc bag. But as you can see here, I've got spinach, cucumbers, um, some more salad here, but I always have greens whenever I'm ready to eat them. Um, some more veggie stuff here. And for me, now that I'm not like doing full blown dinners in the evening, sometimes if I just want to prep a quick salad, that doesn't take me much time at all. And then I've got some, um, peppers here oh i'll show you guys that in a second we'll come back to that um but there's some zucchini here and then i also have more veggies back there and more zucchini back there we eat a ton of veggies um and then i'll also show you guys here i have i also keep a ton of roasted veggies and i found this to be very helpful as this gets eaten up i'll just roast more, more vegetables and again it doesn't take a lot of time now because i'm not doing everything at the same time okay next i'd like to talk to you guys about this container so this is a pasta like that i'll make and sometimes like i'll toss additional veggies in with them or they can just have the pasta as is and they can add their own veggies or protein and then in this container is a ton of black rice i don't know if you guys have you guys ever tried black rice it is so good for you let me show you so this is the black rice that we buy and if you look up black rice like there are so many nutritional benefits so i always keep like some form of rice pasta or potatoes already cooked and prepared whether it be rice potatoes pastas they're like filler foods right so i try to always be sure to keep something like that on hand and then i want to show you guys like the little i will i would consider it to be like little like junky not junky foods but like quick foods you know because like let's say for instance if they wanted to make their own lunches or just grab some food for lunches um typically i'll show you like some of the things here and then i'll also show you guys some foods that i would typically eat if i wanted to have like a quick little snack once i came home from work and i still needed to take a shower and do some more work prior to having my meal i'll show you guys that as well okay first let's talk about me i like these jalapeno um poppers I'll put a picture in here. It's really quick and easy to make. I'll cut these in half, clean them, take the seeds out, and then it takes me 15 minutes in the air fryer and they're done. My husband and I also like these stuffed mushrooms. We got these from Aldi. This is just a, just a quick little food where, you know, you wanna just grab something real quick. Um, it works. So that's something that I would tend to grab. Something else that I would tend to grab would be like this egg wrap like if I wanted a quick egg wrap with like eggs or a sandwich or something to that effect I would grab these and while I'm in this drawer I also want to share with you guys that like let's say for instance if we were gonna have burritos or something where it considered of a wrap and I wanted to eat the same as my family I would just use this and then like they here's the ones for them and then we also use these like if you wanted to make pizzas like this is so easy like just keep food like this turkey pepperoni on hand cheese and then like a and then like a pasta sauce and that's something that they can easily make or put in the oven or air fry other quick foods that we have um these little turkey sticks amazing cheese amazing bacon air fryer amazing or i'll cook this in the oven and every now and then when they do want like breakfast or something, I'll just throw this in the oven. I'll put a video here. It doesn't take a long time to cook. I don't have to stand over the stove and I'm not and I'm not feeling salty about it. Um, more cheese. Oh, and also we are not above tons of eggs all the time. Scrambled eggs, boiled eggs, whatever. But also, <laughs> let me show you guys what's in here. This is like a little charcuterie board thing that I picked up from Aldi. And I don't care, eat what you want, no big deal. 
As long as I don't have to prepare it. You know what I mean? Do you guys see the theme here? Like anything that's less stress on me to where I don't have to figure it out, I absolutely love. It. Another thing that I'll do sometimes, like let's say for instance, if we're on like Thanksgiving break or Christmas break and like they're home all day, sometimes I'll even prep sandwiches and just toss them in the refrigerator. So if they wanted to go grab a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, ham and cheese sandwich, whatever, I know they can do it themselves. I, I know, I know, and sometimes they do. But if I'm in the kitchen and I don't mind, like it doesn't take me very long to do that kind of stuff at all also i like to share with you guys i think i told you guys that like since i've been fasting that i've slowly like backed off on making breakfast for the kids unless they like request it or something to that effect but also i've gotten to a point to where i have created a mini breakfast bar <laughs> and when i say mini i mean it's like it's nothing but i'm gonna share it with you so here we are on the rare mornings where they choose to make their breakfast and I am either like doing work or working out or something to that effect. They have breakfast bars, oatmeal, cereal, and then they also know how to use the um, Vitamixer so they can make themselves shakes if they choose to as well. But again, back to that same theme, I found that this is freeing me up so much by prepping ahead of time. I don't have to worry about what everyone is eating every night. So I've realized some of the benefits of this is that it allows my husband to participate more. It allows whomever, like whatever they wanna make and just stick it in the refrigerator, we'll pull it out and we'll have it for dinner one night. No big deal, buffet style is enjoyable. I found that we have less food waste than we did before because now you just eat everything up until it's gone. Like when it's gone, like let's say if the veggie's gone, I may replace it with another veggie, but we always have food. I remember my grandmother, my mom's mom, you would never catch her slipping. Like if you ever went to her house, she always had food prepared, like literally all the time. So this kind of like makes me feel a little bit like that. That if someone was to come over to my home, I would have food made. And I've also found that a benefit of this is just like us, like just like our appetites as adults tend to change, same thing with the kids. Like the rule, there's no main rule, but like they know don't take more than what you're gonna eat. So if they have a day or a night where they're not really that hungry, then there's no force because I'm not putting the food on the plate. They're putting the food on their own plate. So we definitely have less food waste and it allows them to just kind of like eat as they naturally would. I wish that I had learned this a long time ago and I wish that I had not like overfed my kids by forcing them to clean their plate but you know what when you know better you do better and i feel like i'm starting to learn more oh let me show you guys more things like on the days when i don't feel like cooking let me just show you guys some more stuff because i want to make it very clear that i am not above chicken nuggets and fries so let me share with you the freezer okay so as you can see here in our freezer we have tons of turkey breasts tater tots hash browns all kinds of veggies and chicken fingers um veggies texas toast so sometimes if you're making like a chili or pasta or whatever then they have texas toast this cooks in the um air fryer in like five minutes and then i have my ezekiel bread um and then we have burgers like if you want burgers and fries one night there's tons of veggies and stuff like that under there um and then so as I was mentioning, sometimes I'll just cook extra stuff ahead of time. These are beans. This is a flatbread. We've got chicken nuggets. So yeah, I'm def I'm not above any of that at all. Like, and like, let's say for instance, one night um, we're running out of food, we're running low on food, I have no problem pairing some chicken nuggets with a salad or some veggies. Or like, let's just say that there's nothing that they wanna eat on the table. I don't care. Like fine make chicken nuggets because you know for the most part you're feeding your family good nutritious food okay so my first tip for you is to make a running list of what your family actually likes what kind of foods do they enjoy so that's a really good idea felicia like you should probably do that yourself <laughs> Okay guys, I'm telling you to make the list, but if you're like me, I've been cooking for my family over a decade. I pay attention to them, I study them, I know what they like, I know what they don't like, I know what food gets left on the table, I know what food gets eaten up. So it's really easy for me to be able to like go into the grocery store and like pick up enough food so that everyone has something that they like and that they enjoy. But if you're not sure yet, or if you're a newer mom, or if you're new to just trying to do this whole concept of like trying to lose weight and eat different food from your family, then I highly suggest this. Like just give it a try and let me know how you like it. That leads me to number two. There is no more 
their food and my food in our house if you guys go back and look on the channel you'll see where i was oftentimes like trying to like put my um food away so that they wouldn't eat it so that i had enough healthy food to get me through the entire week but yeah i don't have to do that anymore we all eat pretty much the same thing i just choose not to eat sugar or flour and when i do dinners buffet style no one even knows no one's paying attention like everyone's just kind of like looking out for themselves and it truly truly works my third tip is to relinquish control about what exactly they put on their plates for instance if you're meal prepping ahead of time then you know that you're feeding your family like the best nutritional food that you possibly can so who cares if they i mean you may have some basic rules like for instance in our family it's not a rule but it's just something we've done for years like usually they have a source of protein they have um at least some veggies on their plate and then from there i don't care and then usually fruit is like dessert in our house but as you can see in the refrigerator i showed you guys the cheesecake like sometimes we do have we do have an additional dessert and like once they're finished eating whatever food they want to eat then they can have the dessert so yeah just relinquish control about um what they're grabbing and in my opinion if they if they choose to eat like chicken two nights in a row like i'm okay with that or if they really love that pasta it was their favorite di favorite dish and like they wanted to eat more pasta than anything else like i'm okay with that too like it doesn't bother me i know that because i now do this like every week or every two weeks or whatever that they're getting what they need because i rotate the meals i don't know if that makes any sense but i hope it does number four i feel that this allows you to prep food as you feel the need like for instance you can take the time and like prep over the weekend kind of as i do or as you can see in the refrigerator i had those beans which i'll prep later in the week and it gives me an opportunity to toss those in the instant pot whenever i'm ready to and it allows my husband to do his like one-off foods like for instance the salmon he's gonna cook that not a big deal he doesn't have to worry about a full-blown meal all he has to do is worry about cooking the salmon and then we'll use that in rotation throughout the week as well all right and my last and final tip is to make it fun relax relax once you have all of the food on the table just make it fun like let people eat what they want to eat you know just engage in like meaningful meaningful conversations and i've also found it to be fun too like let's say for instance one week you allow one child or someone else to choose like one of their favorite foods and then like the next week you give the other child like something you know where they can choose their favorite foods or if you want to you could do them all every week i don't know make it fun whatever works for your family just make it fun but i found that it's just so enjoyable because they get so excited about um you know what they're gonna eat that night and then you also get to see like their creativity and then like as the week goes on it's kind of crazy too because like as the food starts to dwindle down you get the opportunity to see them like putting meals together that you probably wouldn't normally see them eat together and you're like so how's that how does that taste and they're like mm -hmm. and who knows like next week like someone else may be eating it the same way like some crazy meal like that too so I really hope that you guys found these tips to be helpful. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know if you like more tips like this because what I'm finding is that by me just giving, allow my family a lot more food freedom. Like for instance, I don't have to worry about making breakfast or making lunch or you know, or even when I come home from work, like I have a full blown buffet to choose from and I really love that. So do me a favor, please share this video out with a friend who you think may find it helpful. And as always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.